all children benefit from, from being with the peers and all the children with different behaviours. <laughs> Consider that and then ask yourself whether this council should risk that, should risk that on what officers say in terms of a promise of an SEM test being met. No evidence again, Chair, no concrete evidence was presented this evening. Let's back the real experts in this room, not Lynn Wright or Eric Craven, but the people behind me, the teachers and the parents of the Lindale children. Let's back them, let's show them we care, let's show them that we're willing to invest in their children's education. Let's send this back to Cabinet and tell them to think again. So that, that, that's the answer to that particular question. 
Um, can I also say that uh, I know the, the question was raised about the definition of profound and multiple learning capability. And as, as someone who's worked for a little while in, in, in that particular area, it, it is a very difficult area to have a definition. But I've always used it, a particular definition, and uh, that definition of, of, of what we do tonight, now whether that's right or wrong, it, 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 it's what I've used in my professional life. And I, I found that uh, pupils with profound multiple learning difficulties have severe and complex learning needs. In addition, they have other significant difficulties, such as physical disabilities or a sensory impairment. Pupils require a high level of adult support for their learning needs and also for professional care. That's the definition that I've used, and I think a number of other professionals. But there, there's very little research has been done in universities. Uh, what I would say, what, is, what, what, what we have tried to do in, 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 in all the consultations that we've had, we've tried to have extensive consultations. You can see we've had six meetings, we, 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 we will also take, take written uh, contributions from people. I've also put myself out to uh, visit the schools. I've also had meetings with parents and the leader of the council, which I think is important. And uh, I think we can honestly say that we, we have tried to do a listening exercise. I've read all the papers very, very carefully. And, uh, you know, it isn't, I mean, I'm not doing this for political reasons. I'm not doing this for, you know, financial reasons for the local authority. I would never consider doing anything like that because I understand the needs of, 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 of the children and that. We've looked at it very, very carefully. It's not sustainable, the model that we have at the, end of the, year, at the present time. We've also, as you, you saw, we brought in an independent consultant who uh, was asked to look at the, the various options. During the consultation, I was very, very clear that any new options that came forward, we would look at those as well, and some did come forward. So I, I, I came with a very open mind to the, to, to, to the consultation. And I think the rest of the cabinet members did as well. Uh, it is a very, very difficult uh, uh, place to be in, but I think for the efficient use of resources in the local authority, what I think will be in the long term the, the best, the best fit for the for, for, for the children of Lindale. I think we're very lucky in this authority to have uh, outstanding special schools, both at primary and secondary level. It is, they are absolutely outstanding. And, you know, Lindale works in a particular way, and the park works in a particular way, but they all work very, very well for, for and Stanley as well at primary level. All work extremely well for, for, for the needs of our, our, our most needy children and that. I, I'm asking you to, uh, the witnesses I brought forward, I hope they, uh, they, 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 they um, answered the, the, the questions that we asked in that. And uh, I, I, ju I just hope you, um, you know, we, we have given you the, the answers you've asked and that uh, the information we've given you is what it is because we are here. Thank you, Chair. Thanks, Terry. Thank you, Chair. <coughs> we reached the part um, in the procedure now where um, members of the committee have got the opportunity to make comment. Um, we have had a very thorough um, explanation of the decision, an explanation of the reasons for the calling.
is applicable here. And then the final um, option available is to oppose the decision. Um, if the coordinating committee agrees with the initial decision, the relevant senior officer will then implement it. So, has, would anybody like to make a comment before we, we move to recommendations? Bill, Councillor Fraser.